Adam, Mina, was Pharaoh first. The Abidus tablet fully agrees with Genesis and is often corroborated by the Greek and Egyptian historians Herodotus and Manetho. It shows Adam as the first Pharaoh and Noah the twentieth, while the intermediate eighteen correspond with Genesis with remarkable accuracy. Mina's wife was Shesh, Hebrew Isha, woman. Her first son was Pharaoh second, Greek Peter Kent, guilty one, Hebrew Carnegie, Latin Athos, English Cain. The tablet for Abel represents him as the non-resistant one. The Abidus tablet shows the same order as Moses, giving first the line of Cain down to Jabal, who was taken. At that time, evidently, the gods and demigods began to fill the earth with violence. Cetai's list omits the names of these. All demigods were destroyed in the deluge. Noah is next in order with a regal title. But since he was not of Cain's family, the Abidus tablet there goes back, mentions Abel and Seth, and Seth's line, just as given in Genesis, untitled, down to Noah. These all, as pharaohs, have their royal ovals, but no super titles. After Noah, Nofru, Pharaoh 20th, the line runs through his son Ham, Kemu Chufu. Appropriately, Noah's other sons are ignored, for Shem and Japheth went to Asia and Europe, while only Ham went to Egypt. Thus wonderfully is the Bible being vindicated by the very inscriptions once supposed to contradict it. Moses was learned in all the wisdom of the Egyptians. Besides this, he was Jehovah's prophet and so certified by Jesus. Although Moses lived 2,000 years after Adam, history connected up very close to his time. From Adam to Moses, there were but five intermediaries. Methuselah, Shem, Isaac, Levi, Amram, whose lives overlapped by periods ranging from 31 years to 243 years, as shown in our diagram.